However, your inner voice can occasionally be downright rude. It can be demeaning and harsh, causing anxiety and sometimes panic attacks. That voice may say, why are you so stupid? Or you never do anything right. Or maybe you're never going Hi, to. Hi, I'm Cindy Shoemaker and I help people struggling with grief unpack and manage all their emotions with ease and grace. Now those bad voices in our heads are something that we don't often talk about with others, probably for fear of being judged, I'm sure. And I like to use the analogy of these screeching drunken monkeys swinging from branch to branch, just like the annoying thoughts and voices in our heads. And it doesn't matter what's going on in our lives, we all have those voices. Sometimes your inner voice cheers you on, encouraging you to cross that finish line or telling you that everything's going to be okay when you feel scared or stressed. However, your inner voice can occasionally be downright rude. It can be demeaning and harsh, causing anxiety and sometimes panic attacks. That voice may say, why are you so stupid? Or you never do anything right. Or maybe you're never going to amount to anything. So where do these voices come from? Well, these voices are the words and tones spoken by some, somebody in your past, someone that was really important to you. It could have been your parents, a sibling, a coach or a teacher, maybe a bully on the playground, maybe even a bully at work, or maybe it was a partner or a spouse. And they could have been irritated or annoyed with you and their words were so impactful that they that those words stayed with you and became deeply ingrained self beliefs and or emotional patterns. These might have been people that you wanted to please and the thought of disappointing them felt horrible, leading to sadness and humiliation. Now these beliefs and emotional patterns became so deeply ingrained when you heard their words over and over. And you either carried them with you into adulthood or you dragged them into the next relationship as emotional baggage. So how can you quiet those voices and find happiness? Changing your inner voices is a necessary step to achieving happiness. And you must surround yourself with people or positive influences that can help you change your inner voice to something more constructive, more helpful, that leads to self-healing. That could be a friend, it could be a therapist, or another important person's voice. That could also include listening to podcasts or watching YouTube videos that help change your internal dialogue by changing your perception of the world as you now know it. You need to listen to these people long enough to change the way that you think and the way that you look at your own world long enough that your internal dialogue feels natural and their words become your thoughts over time. And those thoughts need to be kind and gentle and nurturing, like a big warm hug that you give yourself. And that voice needs to remind you that even though you may fail, you are still worthy of love and of being loved. Failure is never a bad thing anyway. If you aren't failing, you aren't trying. Failures always lead to success over time. If your childhood or past was full of hurtful words from people who were maybe impatient, irritated, or angry, just remember, hurt people hurt others. They had their own problems and they were not emotionally equipped to deal with those. Instead of seeking self-help, they lashed out at those around them, which may have included you, and their voices became yours over time. And that became your default way of thinking. So you need to rewire or reprogram your brain to think differently about yourself. You must replace the voice of anyone who's ever had a negative impact on you with a kind, gentle voice that gently guides you, guides you forward while holding this safe space for you until 
those newer voices become your default inner voice. Remember, you're 100% responsible for your life. No one is going to save you. You have to save yourself. So learn to master your emotions so they don't master you. Because what is at stake if you don't? All right, go make it a great day. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.